the, the difference between the, the door wizard tool and the result, what we achieved by this point is that that uh, thing that I create with the door wizard, which actually you can find at the same place, um, the building and um, new door tool, you can find this here. You can find s something that we call the door schemes. So you can just select the, the, the prototype of the shape of the layout of the door. And then you can go detailed and you can, you can find the parameters here at the, at the other pages here. So if I, for example, let's just keep it simple. I will go with this, uh, this single um, leaf door uh, and I will show you a few uh, things what you can do with this. So first things first, of course, you can set up the main parameters. This does not mean you will not be able to resize it later. This will be just the default size of the door. Mm -hmm. So if you, if you fancy creating a door in one certain size, then with another certain size, then you can do that. You can just save it and you can just uh, pull it out and just place it ready-made. Yes. But <coughs> if that is something that you don't want to just keep it, uh, keep it as it is, and then you go to go on and change the the 2D representation and the frame. Now here, this shows a, a little a, a glimpse of what you can do with this. Actually, you can change uh, properties, detailed properties, like the frame here, as you can see, you can enable or disable these parts. So this is parametric and you can even change its cross section to something else. If you, if you don't like what was originally set, you can just change it to uh, anything else. If I change this to, I don't know, like 50, uh, millimeters then this is how it works so you can change these properties one by one I think it's a bit too much so let's just change it to something smaller and then um, you can go on and keep changing the threshold you can the same way again you can just change the cross section you can enable or disable this thing you can change the material of it and you can resize it stretch it to the to, mm -hmm. to the to the boundary that you would like to use also the same goes with the panels you can you can uh, change how this door is operated so for example if it's, if this is a balcony door sometimes it's operated like that it's sometimes uh, two ways operated yes, or always. sometimes it's fixed so it's fixed so you just go with this uh, first option and also the same thing goes here uh, about geometry, there are some some uh, things that you can set up, like the gaps around the mm -hmm. uh, the panel. And what I'm about to show you, I don't want to go on. Uh, yes, on it's, talk uh, about all these. You are free to discover this on your own, but there's a couple of things to talk about here because they are very handy tools. Yes, what I would like to show you is that you can uh, if see this is not a not a full panel. Uh, I can either uh, remove this uh, window panel uh, from it by just simply turning off the inset. In that case, it's a single uh, leaf, uh, no, no window door. Mm -hmm. uh, or if I turn it on, then I can change how this works. Now, automatic means it's automatically following the contours. But if you go with them with a, with a predefined one, you can just select uh, profiles and just as in any parts of ArchLine, you can also design these profiles. So these profiles that you can find here, these are something that you can simply draw as a 2D drawing and then use the, uh, the, 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 the new profile command in ArchLine and save them into the libraries. And most importantly, you can also add multiple uh, doors like uh, or panels like this because you can find this plus and, and, and erase. Uh, so you can add additional elements. Yeah. This plus plus and erase uh, button might be familiar <coughs> from other tools. That's that's the the tool tool set what we use for adding additional elements. Yes, yes, yes. Let me change something. Let me just quickly show you how this works. If you would like to, I don't know, I, I will add two panels just to keep it simple. One panel will be, I don't know, like 600 or 800 millimeters from the top. Refresh. So this is what I've got. And then if I would like to add another one, then I just click here and I simply add and, and change the properties. I think in this case, I should use something like a thousand at least, but I will just change, and oh, I'm sorry, this, uh, this will be 200, but the bottom uh, should be thousand. something different. Uh, well, it's too small yet. Let's just change it to something like that. Yeah, like, like, like this. So you can, you can change the properties. You can add other profiles. You can keep it automatic. You can change the, 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 the glazing material and, and so on. So even mm -hmm. you can then later erase it or turn it over. Or if you would like to add several tiny pieces uh, after and after, you can just use the copy and paste uh, yes. button to just simply repeat the same procedure over and over again. 
And then the same thing you can actually do with the inset uh, edge profile. I, if I just simply turn, turn this off now, it will be quite visible what, what happens. If I turn it off, see this this what happens. So you can just change how the how the window glazing is, is just... So um, every single profile here internet. can be modified. That's yes. the point here. Yes, yes. It is, it is indeed very detailed. And now it's not too much visible, but as you can see, each and every part are detailed and modeled the way I uh, way I instructed the software mm -hmm. to do so. So what happens when you're ready with the addition of this of this door? So how, how do you make that into your into your model? Yeah, first things first, if I want again here, I add a few beam parameters and if I'm done with that or I'm just simply happy with the result that I've got, I just click on save and then again, I save it into my libraries. Let's let's name it now parametric um, parametric door. Uh, a one, for example, uh, the category will be the same category and say, okay, so let's just check if uh, I could save it. It's uh, here, it's this parametric yes. door. So now I just drag and drop it over and place it from a wall end point. Uh, well, this door, this wall should have a lot of <laughs> doors if I just keep it that way. But as you can see, now I, I think I already have a saved yes. view. Now there it is.